What's up guys? Um, Hunter here, making a random video just because I guess I felt like it. I'm re getting ready to head out to go pick up a CHP short shifter knob for my E46. Um, heard a lot of good things about it, so I decided to pick one up. My current shifter knob is broken, so which is why I needed a replacement. So let's, uh, let's, fuck, I don't know, tag along, I guess. There she is, there's the E46. Really good condition. I've had it for about a year now. Um, got it at pretty low kilometers, so I'm excited. I know it's not an M package or M car or whatever. Just kind of forced to to get what I could. Also, I wanted something shorter than what's currently um, in the car. So as you can see, it just kind of like pops right off. Uh, the two clips right here are broken. That was when I got the car um, But installing the new piece should be really easy as you can see there's two little prongs there They fit through there and it just becomes a snug fit like that. The new one will be a lot I'm assuming more forceful to put it in which is good. And there's like flurries here in Canada in April did get this shifter from straight up from BMW um, so I just went to shop.bmw.com and uh, just based on my local address it allowed me to pick up or get the part shipped from my local BMW dealership which is good um, I went to a third-party site that sold genuine BMW um, and it was a US site I'm from Canada, so everything is in US dollars, and including the shipping cost, it was actually much more, significantly more expensive to get it from uh, the third party site, that, which is typically the reverse. Typically, if you're getting everything OEM, um, you know, by the manufacturer, then it's a little bit more expensive. One other thing to mention is uh, don't get one from eBay that is not from a reputable like seller or you know I've seen them on Amazon they're not genuine BMW you're gonna want a genuine BMW part I'll uh, I'll show the part number when, when when I pick up the box it is a quality part you're getting the legit part one cool thing by going to the actual BMW store is that you are able to select what car you have and it'll tell you if that part number is right for your car and if it fits. Um, so it's another good way to just double check that what you're getting is meant to be in your car. Otherwise it might come out loose or not fitting quite well. So just double check that just to be safe. Okay, so we just got to the dealership and I'm just gonna give them a call. Uh, this is COVID hours, so. Um, we're not I'm not able to go inside and actually pick up the part So I have to give them a call let them know I'm here and they're gonna bring it to my window. Okay guys. I just got to a, a separate parking lot um, and uh, I'll show you the part number and I guess me putting on this thing and checking how it feels. This is the part number 25 11 7 8 9 6 0 3 1 I just took it out and man what a difference. This is considerably heavier and I, I cannot wait to feel this the leather is really good it has a nice um transparent glass on top so all the numbers and everything is actually below the glass um the leather feels really nice i mean it does feel like you might be able to scratch it if you have long fingernails but this thing is heavy like that's a thud right and then if I take this guy out, just hear that, right? It's, it's, it's wood, but laminated. This is heavy. Like that's, that's considerably heavier. I think this one was like one ounce and this is five ounces. So yeah, you can see everything's all good. It has the piece. It looks really nice. It's meant for this. So again, Let's just wiggle it on. It's already nice and snug. I felt it catch that line with the little thing. And then we're just gonna give it a like little pop with the palm. 
and it should be on there. There we go. That is totally, totally tight. I cannot, I would probably need to yank this and hit myself in the face like a bunch of people do. Uh, you can see how it's flush against the boot, which is nice. So no adjustment to the boot needed. I normally drive with my arm on my armrest and uh, it's in a good position. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna get hit in the way. So it just does the work for you. That is incredible. That is actually incredible. And it looks especially sharp. Really, it does. The throw is slightly, it does feel slightly shorter, but the weight of the shifter, I think would just, you know, propel your arm forward or, or what have you and, and make clean shifts. So I have it at about level as to where it was and you can see it's about maybe half an inch taller uh the old one this one i used to pull the uh the gear into fourth and one time i just did it a little too quick and then the whole thing just came off and that's about when i knew it was, it was going to be a, a sort of a safety issue to honestly keep using this they do have weighted shifters that are this size so you can Go for that if that's what you want. If you like and are comfortable with this and are comfortable with the throw. Um, it does not include the silver band here. But, uh, you know, if you want a heavy uh, shifter and you, you're comfortable with the length, definitely go for that. But this is sharp. I mean, I know my car is a little dirty, but, you know, that's incredible. So let's go for a test drive and uh, we'll see how it is. I actually just tested it out and I forgot to hit record. My bad. Test number two, so that uh, you get my reaction while I'm driving it. And I must say, just in that first example, or in that first test, it felt great. I did have, just out of instinct, my hand wants to go a little bit longer than what the throw is, so that you'll have to get adjusted, adjusted to, but just popping it into first gear, Wow, wow. Let's get a quick shift into second. That, oh. That is something. It feels almost brand new, like a brand new car. Wow. Anyway, guys, um, there you have it. There's my journey to get the ZHP short, heavy, and whatever weighted shifter onto the car, into the E46. Um, I hope you enjoyed. It's kind of fun to make this. Maybe I'll make more car videos. I don't know. At any rate, stay safe out there, guys, and uh, have a good one. Hey, guys, I thought I'd give you some bonus video, just me driving home and shifting into more gears other than second. Um, just to get my run of the thoughts while driving. So let's go. You know, sometimes you do things to your car that just makes you fall in love with it over and over again. And I believe this is one of those things 100%. 100%. There you go, first shift to third. Easy peasy, the weight of the shifter feels so nice. One of the reasons why you want to maybe do something like this for your car is it's one of those things that you're always touching while you're driving. You're touching the steering wheel and you're touching your shifter knob, changing gears. You're always touching it. So it's one of those things that you're going to notice immediately and change maybe the habits of your driving or the style of your driving or even how comfortable you are with the car. That's why, you know, something like this is a really good, effective way to, you know, change the feel of the, your car and, and, and make it something that you enjoy driving. And going into fourth there, like, 
the weight of it just kind of did the job for me. It's it's really, really nice. I could not be happier. I could not be happier. Now I know the one thing, uh, I mentioned it a little bit before, is the M logo on the shifter. And there are a lot of enthusiasts that have gripes with people putting M stuff on their cars that aren't M. And frankly for this, I don't give a shit. Like, this is just something that you're not trying to flex that you have a car that you don't have. It's not about that. It's about drivability and in the feel and the way that you you are attached to your car. And that's something that none of those people can take away from you. If you love what you're driving, keep doing what you're doing with your car, make it yours, and fuck those people. Just in this little time driving, I, I'm already getting used to the throw, the new throw and it's no issue at all. I mentioned with the armrest, doesn't get in your way. Like, uh, to even test out whether or not I'd be comfortable with it, I drove without the shifter knob. Just the, actually just grabbing a little handle and I was like, okay, I'm cool with this. Like, the armrest was getting in the way a little bit, but the shifter knob does add a little bit that extra height to where you will, you'll will clear the, the the armrest, and so it's a total non-issue. It was something that I was worried about at first, but I have zero reservations now. Like, oh, it feels wonderful. You know, and once the oils of your hand start seeping into the leather, and as you keep driving it, it's going to become part of you, and that's so important for any car enthusiast. And, and I'm just getting into the scene. This is my very first car, and I, I, I've only had it for a year. Haven't done any crazy modifications to it. Uh, the only thing else, this car is completely stock except the exhaust. And the exhaust isn't even something that I put in the car. It's uh, the person I bought the car from had it in there. The guy I bought the car from, he's an enthusiast, he's a mechanic, so he really put love into the car didn't cheap out the exhaust is a uuc it's about twelve hundred dollars so i'm really glad that i didn't have to spend that money to put it in um i don't know what else i would put into this car just because i, I kind of like having it stock i'm not racing in the car anyways um so this concludes the video i rate the shifter a 10 out of 10. see ya